just arrived at ICBC, so what we're going to do is I keep all the chalks in here and chalk up our wheels. I'm just going to put some gloves on. Okay. So this is us just getting ready to, to do the pre-trip. Now we haven't started the test yet. The examiner's not here. So I'm just going to chalk up my wheels. Wheels are chalked. The reason why I do that is because I have to release my brakes. So I'm going to go in here now and release my brakes, both trailer brakes and tractor brakes. And while I'm up here, I'm just going to open up the hood. Okay, at this point, we would go into ICBC. We would uh, do a registration. You're going to meet your examiner. He's going to tell you to come out to the truck and he'll be out there in a few minutes. So, when you come out to the truck, you're going to come out here. You'll be wearing this high visibility vest and some coveralls, and then we're going to explain what's in here. So in here I have my triangular flares. You want to bring it in? I have my triangular flares. I have some tools, first aid kit, a flashlight, my rag, and a pry bar. So I'm going to take my rag and my pry bar with me, and I'm going to start over on the other side. So, away we go. I start on this side. When I come over here, I open the hood. And then I keep going around to the other side. Everyone seems to forget the sticker on the trailer. So I start with the sticker on the trailer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the truck. I'm going to start here with the trailer though. The uh, sticker, this is my safety sticker, expires November 2012. So I point that out, okay? Then I'm going to end up on the tires here, so I'm going to start forward of the tires and work my way around. So here I go. My mud flap is secure, okay? Light bracket is secure. Lenses are clean, not broken. These terms are the terms you're going to want to use. My handle is secure. My steps are secure. Deck plating is also secure. Okay, bracket for my light, secure. Lens, clean, not broken. Muffler guard is secure. Muffler itself is secure. My cross members here are secure. I see no new damage on the back of the tractor. Back here, this is my reef, my reef refrigeration unit for my trailer. It's secure. My battery box is secure. Air lines and electrical lines. No audible leaks from my air lines. No cracks or abrasions in my electrical line. And then I come down. Last thing I want to do here is I'm going to open up my fuel tank. Have a look in there. Yeah, I see fuel. It's about a quarter tank. I want to make sure that the other side is a quarter tank because they should both drain properly. As well, I want to check my fuel gauge inside the uh, tractor to make sure it's saying a quarter of a tank. Okay, next thing I want to do is the side of the tractor. I take a step back. Whenever I start something new, I take a step back and do an overall view of the tractor. I see no new damage. My windows up top are clean, not broken. And now I move in. Uh, lens here is clean, not broken. Mirror bracket is secure. The mirror itself are clean, not broken. Door opens. Door closes. Another little door here. I'll open that. Inside there, there's a little diesel engine. It says Pro Heat. It says right on it, Pro Heat. Just reach in, give it a bang. It's secure. The lines to it are secure and there's no leaks. Door closes. The boot brush is secure. Steps are secure. Okay, moving to the front. I'm going to do the engine compartment now. So I don't need my tool or my oily rag here. I'm going to crawl up. I just put a hand up here and here. Step up onto the tire. And I'm up. Okay, up here I want to talk about my visor here. My visor is secure. Lenses are clean, not broken. Windshield is clean, not broken. Here I have a safety sticker, same as the one on the trailer. Expires November 2012. My windshield wipers are adequate. And an overall view of the engine compartment, I see no damage, no leaking oil. Air filter container is secure. This is my reservoir for my, my coolant, and it is secure, and the level is adequate. Now I'm at sort of eye level, so I'm going to come down. Coming down, I just sort of step on my lug nuts here. And come down to here. Okay, pick up where I left off. 
my hoses here are secure, my clamps are secure, governor, compressor, discharge line. All seem to be in proper order, there's no damage. My fan blades, the ones I can see on this side, there's no cracks, none of them are missing. The fan cowling is secure, radiator is secure. Okay, now I'm going to start with the frame. I have no cracks in the frame. Here I have a shock, my shock is secure. While I'm talking about shocks, I'm going to go to my leaf springs because they're a part of my suspension. I have no cracks in the leaf springs and the U-bolts are all nice and tight. Okay, coming off the frame, I have a fuel filter. It's secure and there's no leaks. Airlines, there's no audible leaks from the airline that go to the brake chamber. There's no damage to the brake chamber. My slack adjuster, I'll just check my slack adjuster. I put the tool in there, give it a pull. I have half to three quarters of an inch play that's within tolerance. Working my way out, inside the tire, there's no rips, tears, or bulges. Even an adequate tread across the top, there's no rips, tears, bulges on the outside, no cracks in the rim. Lug nuts are all nice and tight, no leakage under the hub, and no audible leak from the valve stem. Okay, working my way around. Bumper, secure. Okay, start the front. Like I say, I like to take a step back. So from here, I can see the window up top. I say from the front of the tractor has no new damage. The window up top is clean, not broken. The hood has no new damage. Lens is here and clean, not broken. This lens here is clean, not broken. I have a valid license plate and sticker. Lens here, clean, not broken. My grill is secure. Lenses, clean, not broken. Bumper is secure. Okay, this side of the engine compartment. I've already done the top part here, so I won't go with that. We're trying to keep this under an hour. So I'm going to start with this right here. This is my, my uh, foot valve. Foot valve is secure. There's no damage. There's no audible leaks from the airlines. Next thing is right underneath it is the steering column. Steering column. I can see the steering wheel in there. I'm going to give it a turn. I have no uh, excessive play in the steering wheel. Working my way down, I have no excessive play in the U-joint and no excessive leaking from the steering box. Okay, now I'm going to do fluids. There's five fluids. I've done one already when I mentioned the coolant. So beside the brake, this little reservoir here, I re you can remember it by beside the brake is the clutch, clutch fluid. Okay, clutch fluid is adequate. Windshield washer fluid is adequate. In here, I have steering fluid. So I'm going to pull it out as soon as I find my rag. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it off, stick it in just that far and there's an adequate level of steering fluid okay so that's uh, four next is my oil this is my oil filler cap cap is secure oil is here i'll wipe it off and check it the, this engine holds 34 liters of oil and four show on the stick so we'll just stick that in there pull it out and our oil level is adequate Okay, back in we go. So there's five fluids, all our fluids are done. Okay, this side of the engine. Okay, this side of the engine, my wiring harness is all hooked up nicely. That's all out of the way. My alternator, generator are secure. Belts, belts are proper tension. Uh, fan blades, there's no cracks or none missing. Fan cowling is secure. And radiator is secure. Okay, frame, I have no cracks in the frame. Same as the other side. Uh, shocks are secure. I have a steering arm on this side which is secure. Uh, no cracks in the leaf springs. U-bolts are all nice and tight. Airlines coming out of the frame. There's no audible leaks. There's no damage to my brake pot. Again, same with this other side. I'll check the slack adjuster. Half to three quarters of an inch play which is within tolerance. Next, inside the tires. Inside the tires, there's no rips, tears, bulges. Even an adequate tread across the top of the tire. There's no rips, tears, or bulges on the outside. No cracks in the rim. Lug nuts are all nice and tight. There's no leakage from the hub. And no audible leak from the valve stem. Okay, so this side of the tractor. Again, I'm going to take a step back. Overall view of this side of the tractor. I don't see any new damage. Windows are clean, not broken. Here we have a lens. Clean, not broken. My mirror bracket is secure. Lenses are clean, not broken. Door open. I have a fire extinguisher inside. 
fire extinguisher is secure and charged. Okay? We don't want to forget the fire extinguisher, especially because it says fire extinguisher inside. So don't forget the fire extinguisher. Another door in here I'm going to open. I've got batteries. Battery cables are all connected. Mounts are secure. No corrosion. Everything looks great in there. Door closes. Boot brush is secure. Steps are secure. Okay, working my way back. I've already told you what's in here, so I'm not going to worry about that. My lens bracket here is secure. My lens is clean, not broken. Handle secure. My steps are secure. Jet plate is secure. Muffler guard secure. Muffler itself secure. Bracket secure. Lens clean, not broken. I've already done the rest of it up here, so I'll come down. The only thing I have left is open up the fuel tank. Same amount of fuel on this side as the other side, so my crossover is working. Both tanks should drain the same, and I'll check the uh, gauge inside the truck, make sure it says quarter tank. Okay, working back here, my mud flap is secure. Next thing are tires. Well, wheels. What I'm going to talk about here first, though, is fifth wheel. This is called the fifth wheel. Right here is a locking pin. I can slide the fifth wheel along these teeth. I can move it forward and back. This is the pin that locks it. I want to mention that it's in and locked right now. Okay, so my fifth wheel pin is in and locked. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the frame. Uh, there's no cracks in the frame. And then behind the tires here, there's leaf springs. Okay, so check your leaf springs and make sure that they're, uh, they're not cracked. Okay? Okay, after I'm done inside there, I'm going to do both sets of tires at the same time. So I go from in the middle here. And I look at both sets. Inside the tire, there's no rips, tears, or bulges. Even an adequate tread across both, nothing caught in between. And then I'll go to one tire. Outside this tire, there's no rips, tears, or bulges. No cracks in the rim. Lug nuts are all nice and tight. No leakage from the hub. No audible leak from the valve stem. This tire is done exactly the same. Okay? Rips, tears, bulges on the outside. No cracks in the rim, lug nuts are all tight, no leakage from the hub, no audible leak from the valve stem. Okay, carrying on. Going on the back of the tractor now. My, my uh, mud flap, secure. Lenses here are all secure. License plate is there. Lenses here are secure. Mud flap is secure. Going through this way. Okay, which brings me to the tires on this side. These are done exactly the same way. First thing I'm going to mention is my fifth wheel slider pin is in and locked. No cracks in the frame. Leaf springs, there's no cracks in my leaf. So I'm going to get right in here and look at the leaf springs. Okay, and there's no cracks in the leaf springs. My U-bolts are all nice and tight. And then I work my way out. Inside the tires, no rips, tears, bulges. Even an adequate tread on the outside. Nothing caught in between the tires. I have no rips, tears, bulges on the outside. No cracks in the rim. Lug nuts are all nice and tight. No leakage from the hub. No audible leak from the valve stem. And this tire is exactly the same. So, now I'm back to the beginning. This is where I started. So that's completely around the truck. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the truck. Okay? So, I start under here. Uh, I don't know how you're going to just kind of follow me along here. Okay, first thing. I come to our airbags. Airbags are inflated. Here, maybe I'll take it. Okay. Okay, first thing I'm seeing here are airbags. There they are, which are inflated. The next thing... No, that's not going to work here. You do it with me, because it's all upside down. Okay, ready? Coming under here, after the airbags, I have some shocks. Shocks are secure. This big round thing here is a differential. I have no leaks from my differential. Okay, still going under. Next thing, I have some U-joint. I'm going to give it a shake. I have no excessive play in my U-joint. Drive shaft. I have no excessive play in the drive shaft. My airlines have no audible leaks. No damage to my brake pots. I have my slack adjusters. I'm just going to check my... Slack adjuster now. Half to three quarters of an inch on that side. Half to three quarters of an inch on that side. Okay, moving forward. Next axle. First thing again are my airbags. 
airbags are inflated. Drive shaft, no excessive play in the drive shaft. Going forward, differential. I have no leaks from my differential. Shocks are secure. Going forward again, drive shaft, no excessive play in the drive shaft or the U joint. No audible leaks from my airlines. Brake chambers are not damaged. Slack adjusters, I'll just check my slack adjuster. Half to three quarters of an inch on that side, and half to three quarters of an inch on that side. Okay, still moving forward. Let me come around. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, coming forward here. <laughs> Drive shaft, no excessive play. And I'm going to turn around, I'm going to look forward. I see no leaks on the ground from the engine, the transmission, or the fuel tanks. Fuel tanks have three straps. They're all strapped up and secure. And that's it for under here. Now I'm coming up. You don't want to be a fat guy here, let me tell you. Okay, so there I am. I'm all dirty now from being underneath the truck. I might as well go underneath the trailer next. Grab my rag and get all the. I'll go under the trailer and get all the dirty crap over with. Okay. So first thing I see here, airbags are inflated. Shocks are secure. Okay, under I go. Leaf springs. Leaf springs, U bolts, all nice and tight. This side, leaf springs, U bolts tight. No damage to the axle. Slack adjuster. It's gonna this in here. Okay, half to three quarters of an inch play on that side. And this side also half to three quarters of an inch play with intolerance. Okay, moving forward. The undercarriage of the trailer here, there's no damage. I have airlines here with no audible leaks. Brake pots, no damage. Air tanks, no audible leaks. Front axle, no damage. Brake pots, no damage to the brake pots. I'll just check my slack adjusters. Half to three quarters of an inch there. And half to three quarters of an inch on this one with intolerance. Okay, hey, moving forward. I'm going to come around the other side. Okay. Leaf springs on the front axle. No cracks. U-bolts are nice and tight. Both sides. Okay, then I'm coming out. I look forward. There's no damage to the cross members. Airlines. My airlines here are tucked up and out of the way. And electrical lines are all tucked up as well. And then I'm coming out. Okay, I'm going to walk right over to the examiner and I'm going to tell him that the slack adjusters on the truck are, are, are automatic, but there are manual slack adjusters on the truck. If I had to make an adjustment, I would get my 916 wrench. I would push in the locking sleeve. I would turn it uh, so that it turns the same direction as the S-cam. I'd turn it until I feel resistance and then I'd back it off half to three quarters of a turn. I'd check it if it wasn't right, another half to three quarters of a turn, and check it again. Okay, shut off.